This display shows the SIMS Climate Digest for July 2014, featuring highlights from the Global Analysis product issued each month by NOAA's National Climatic Data Center. The Climate Digest conveys a visual climate brief of recent weather and climate conditions worldwide. July 2014, average land and ocean temperature was the fourth warmest July since records began in 1880. Norway experienced its warmest July average temperature since national records began. In Denmark, July 2014 tied with 1994 as the second warmest July in the nation's 141-year period of record. Temperatures across Africa were also much warmer than average, with some western locations experiencing a record warm July. Meanwhile, in the U.S., 13 states from the Great Lakes to the Gulf Coast had a top 10 cool July. However, warm and dry conditions fueled large wildfires in the Pacific Northwest. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, 34% of the contiguous U.S. was in drought at the end of July 2014. Drought conditions worsened across the West, with 58% of the state of California expanding to the most severe classification of exceptional drought. Most of Australia also experienced below average precipitation during July 2014. Queensland was the driest, reporting 86% below average precipitation. France, on the other hand, had its wettest July since national records began in 1959. There were two notable tropical cyclones in July. In the U.S., Hurricane Arthur made history by becoming the earliest known hurricane to make landfall in the state of North Carolina which occurred on the 4th of July, a national holiday. A much more powerful storm affected the Philippines, South China, and Vietnam later in the month. Typhoon Ramesson caused billions of dollars of damage and nearly 200 fatalities. This real-time data set is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from average. Red portions of the map depict regions that experience above average warmth. Blue portions of the map indicate below average temperatures. White indicates near average conditions. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures and red indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures. Neither El Niño nor La Niña conditions were present across the central and eastern equatorial Pacific Ocean during July 2014. According to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, there is a 65% chance that El Niño conditions will develop during the northern hemisphere fall and winter. This real-time data set, collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites, shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. The July sea ice extent for the Arctic was the fourth smallest July sea ice extent since satellite records began in 1979. Finally, we move to Antarctica and discover that its sea ice extent was 5.8% above the 1981 to 2010 average, the largest sea ice extent on record. And that's your July 2014 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.